We are back and we are going to try to finish this right here, right now. First up, we got Lorelai. We'll go and lead with Omar. Hopefully he can take out Dugong and then put a sizable dent in that cloister. That's really what we need him for. We need that special attacker that can get through the cloister because everything else we should be able to beat, I think. Ooh, I am nervous about this. I do think we will be able to get through Lance with some S somewhat decent consistency but the rival battle i think is might be have to be a little bit lucky Ooh, it doesn't even do half we should win this exchange it's really helpful when we get a critical hit it's super helpful in fact omar you got to do your thing shock the clam he shocked it real good real good what is next we got the slow bro i mean there's no reason why we shouldn't just keep going for shockwaves. We'll probably have to use an ether on him at some point. Ooh, that looks like it could be a range. Amnesia special defense, right? Ah, darn. And it doesn't kill. Go and do one more shockwave. Ah, full restore. I'm gonna go for a dig, just cause the special defense is boosted. It does. Ooh, ooh, and that was a crit. Omar's out, but that's okay. We'll go Jeff. We'll go Jeff with the razor leaf. Should be the best option, actually. Maybe not, because he's going to ice beam us. And that's going to not feel good. It's not going to feel good. Man, Jeff is... Got to be getting those crits, man. I feel like we have not gotten a whole lot of razor leaf crits this run. So he, she shouldn't heal. And Duck to Goose, she can finish Slowbro off. We'll just go with an aerial ace. Perfecto. Okay, we should be able to do some real solid damage on this. That's a pretty good amount. He'll probably die from this. That's okay. We will double edge. Yes, because they're using a full restore, even better. So that means that she shouldn't have any more full restores for her lead, which is awesome. Oh no, break through the love. It can do nothing for you. Uh, might as well just go for brick break. Surf shouldn't do a whole bunch. Herbert's tank, man. Two more of that and we should be able to get through Lorelei. Okay, so that was a little bit of a sloppy battle, but I think we are a-okay because Anigo should go ahead and outspeed and we'll just go with an earthquake and that's game. Okay, so much better than the first attempt of the Elite Four. And now we got Bruno who in theory Lapper should be able to sweep. She'll probably get outsped or Hale probably get outsped at some point. So we do need to have, you know, some backups, but... We also have Duck to Goose and Anigo in that could probably take a couple hits. Let's go and revive our team though. If we get to Blue or Tofu, if we get to Tofu and I think we can win the battle with enough persistence, I will save. But other than that, I won't because I don't want to have to. Yeah, if I save and I can't win, I'm soft locked. Anyways, next up is Bruno. Let's see how far we can get. It's an Oko. Sky uppercut. That's not gonna kill, is it? That's not gonna kill, okay. Good lord, that did more than I thought it would. This is gonna kill though. Damn it. So that didn't go as planned, but we have Duck to Goose. Duck to Goose will avenge her fallen Plessy. Probably gonna He's probably gonna switch into Onyx now though. Okay, Machamp. I mean, might as well just drill pack. That's our strongest move and it's super effective. And it does, ooh. Is it gonna citrus berry? That takes it up heal range. We, oh, are we gonna survive this? Oh God, oh, duck to goose with the clutch. Hell yeah, dude. Ooh, we probably don't outspeed anymore. Okay, that's fine. Duck to goose did their job. Bruno gave me a little bit more trouble than I had anticipated. And throw out a surf and that's GG. Hell, I think we just lead with Omar. Hopefully it's, hopefully he can outspeed the Gengar. And if the Gengar uses double team, we can use Shockwave against it. I think that's going to be the best move. And then we can keep Lapras in the back for some extra firepower because he has Psychic. Does, oh, not as much as I needed it to. Oh, the flinch. You love to see it. You don't love to see that though. We're just going to keep going with Bite because she's already going to waste a full restore. I'm probably just going to ride this out with Omar, honestly. Because now he can't get put to sleep or anything like that. So hopefully he can do some real decent damage and the flinch. Do one more bite. Hell yeah. Next up is the gold bat. Even better for us. We should still outspeed. Shockwave does perfect. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to die. That's okay though. I think we're going to go into duck to goose actually. Because that he doesn't serve too much more purpose in this 
battle and a drill peck will hopefully, wow, we get out to bed, no kidding. But a drill peck will take him out, awesome. We are going to switch into Anigo. Anigo can take any psychic, I mean, any poison move and then dish out an earthquake. Now this should do a pretty sizable half. Oh, almost a one hit, but that's actually better. Cause now hopefully she gets baited into using her second full restore. Oh, she didn't, she's smarter than that. Oh, it has Dream Eater, doesn't it? But then we can switch into, we can switch into Duck to Goofs. It's probably gonna try Dream Eater and then we can hit it with a drill pack. It's probably gonna go for hypnosis again. If it lives, I miss, oh no. Just wake up, like it's super easy, just wake up. Yeah. Okay, so we're probably not gonna take it out in this go. Ooh, it's close. Let's go in drill pack, hopefully we live. Oh yes. Oh my God. I should have just used two drill packs. Aerial Ace, we're, we're gonna die anyways, that's fine. You did your job, Dr. Goose. It's a quick old razor leaf. That's not gonna do anything. I stand corrected, but we still win. And a crit right back to you, sir. And here's my thinking. I think we're gonna lead with Jeff, actually, because I have a little bit of an idea. My idea is that Jeff can really do nothing against any of the other Pokemon. He won't have a super effective move. The best that he can do will be Toxic. And Gyarados can't really do anything to him. So maybe we can get the Gyarados off on Toxic, then just chip him away with uh, Giga Drain or Razor Leaf or something like that. And then that saves Omar for Aerodactyl, which I think is going to be the most difficult Pokemon in this. Because I think, yeah, if we get through that Aerodactyl, I think we'll be in a really good spot. Most of our Pokemon can deal with the Dragonairs just fine. And then we have Lapras that should be able to tank at least one Dragon, one Outrage. What's Giga Drain? Because if Dragon Rage is all that he has, we can stall him out. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. okay. Maybe we can get a Toxic off. Wing Attack is gonna kill, huh? Yeah, but we can switch right into Ples uh, Plessy and his Ace could be gone. Does it Oko? It doesn't. That's fine, but it's gonna use Citrus Berry. Take it, takes it out of heal range, or will he heal? Awesome, he heals, that means we get another free hit in on him. Keep using, oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt, but we live, we survive. Oh no, we'll try Herbert. Uh, yeah, Brick Break is gonna be the best option. If we can get one more in, ah, we can't. Okay, we're gonna go into Omar. I think Omar can outspeed. And we're gonna do a shockwave. Yes, he does outspeed, does it kill though? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, Anigo, you got this. I believe in you. Oh, hell yeah, it must recharge. You dead. Ooh, that was rough, dude. That was real rough. Did lower my attack though. I am gonna shift into Ductagoose. Oh shit. Oh my God, it lived. You're, you're it. And hit her by poison? Jeff from the dead with the assist. This is gonna be really close. Drill peck? We outspeed, should do a decent amount. Okay, now it's locked into Outrage. We're gonna go into a Nego and go for the Earthquake. It outspeeds, hell yes. And it's out. Okay, now I don't wanna have to go into Plessy because Plessy has such low HP, but I think we, I, come on, can we get this first try? Earthquake brings it down to, we got it. Hoo hoo hoo. Aerodactyl was a problem. Dude, I, I think we can beat this. Like, I'm not so confident that I'm gonna save. But it just really depends on that damn Charizard, I think. The Charizard and the Alakazam. And one final thing, we should be able to outspeed, Omar should be out, able to outspeed the Alakazam. No, Inigo isn't going to. We don't need the Amulet Coin on him. We're gonna give him the Quick Claw. Since he has Mega Horn, that could, I'm next to positive that would one shot. We're gonna give a Rare Candy to Herbert to power up that Rock Slide. We need, okay, so the two things that would do really well against the Pidgeot are Omar and Plessy. We absolutely need Omar for Alakazam. So I think I'm gonna lead with Plessy, even though it would be a little bit stronger against Charizard. Omar's still strong, strong and Herbert's gonna be our ace for that. So let's go with Plessy. Hopefully some Ice Beams can do some massive damage. 15 hours, let's see if we can finish this. Got me bones in a jumble. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Okay, that shouldn't do too much. Are you kidding me, dude? Okay, that does more than half. Oh my God, dude, this is not going to plan. All right, that was trash first luck. Let's try Duck to Goose. 
Oh no, he always switches into Rhydon next. That was a bad move. That was a horrible move. Oh God, and now it uses Feather Dance. What is it going into? Rhydon, okay. Try Jeff, see what you can do. You got this, buddy. You've been day one. It's gonna lower speed. Probably gonna get outsped and hit by Earthquake. Yep, I think this one's a punt. We have to get some dumb luck to get through the rest of this. We got really bad luck with the Pidgeot and I misplayed with the Dedrio. Oh, he's not gonna live, is he? He's not gonna live. All right, go for it, Omar. You're like literally our only hope. Flinch. Oh my God, do it again. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh no, 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 no. Maybe if we get a crit, we need to get a crit on one of these two. If we, if we ha have a chance at this, we need to get a crit right here. All right, or he needs to use Future Sight. Okay, that's something. Okay, so that's the first turn before Future Sight. I think I have to sack off Duck to Goose. I'm, I'm sorry, girl. I, I think you have to go. Yeah, this one's over. That's a bummer. It doesn't look like his AI is too smart with Alakazam though. And I think we might be able to win this. I'll run through one more time and then see what happens. We are back. We have everyone at full health. I'm gonna lead with Plessy again because I think it was honestly just a whole bunch of BS that happened in the last go around. And I think we can win this. We just need to get two hits on that Pidgeotto or Pidgeot and we got this. Okay, perfect. Okay, not ideal. We still have a 75% chance to hit. Okay, awesome. The Pidgeot is out and we are at full health. Could have used that crit in the first one, but it don't matter right now. Come on, Plessy. Yes, 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 yes. It's two out of six done and we are at full health. Can we, can we do an ice beam? Okay. Oh my God. So this is the best position we could possibly hope to be in. I'm just gonna keep rolling with ice beam. It should be able to tank one psychic. Oh, and it hit. We did a good amount. That is okay. We are in a very good position. Come on, Omar. I forgot to equip the black glasses. Let's hope that doesn't matter. Don't use recover. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, try bite again. Maybe he'll flinch. Okay, now get a crit. Must speak this into existence. As long as it's not a crit. Okay, the Alakazam is gone. And we're only down one Pokemon. This, this is going as well as we can hope. I'm gonna save Omar. Because I think he'll outspeed the Charizard. You know what I'm actually thinking I'm gonna do? Thrash, survive one. Survive one. Crit. All right, that's not ideal. Go for it, Duck to Goose. See what you can do. Maybe it'll hit itself in confusion a couple times. Yo. Okay, that's probably gonna KO. No, it doesn't. Okay, it's confused. We outspeed. Come on. Hit yourself, hit yourself. Let's go. Okay, okay. I, we, we might be able to get this, guys. You did your job, Duck to Goose. You did an amazing one at that. Let's go with Omar. Hopefully we outspeed. Just can get a shockwave in. Did about a third. Okay, we're gonna KO to that. All right, Herbert, you need to hit your rock slides right now, please. Okay, that doesn't do too much. Okay, that's one. Ooh, okay, so he's gonna full restore. And that drops his speed. Oh my God. All you need to do is hit, man. All you need to do is hit. All you need to do is hit. Yes! Yo, we are done. The seal defeated the tofu. Oh, it can be. And I beat you at your best without ever using a Pokemon Center and using a dummy underlevel team. Now that was fun. It got a little, got a little tedious there right after uh, we beat Giovanni for the third time. But, you know, we needed to grind and we got through so much of the game without having to do that. We never used struggle in this entire run. And for a lot of it, we didn't use the HM abuse either. God, this was this was a fun challenge because it was one that like the it forces you to be so underleveled, especially in the early game, because you have like no means to get back any power points. And it made like honestly the gym leaders way more fun than I have ever had in a Pokemon game. Like every single one was like a legit challenge and we pulled some out that I did not think we were going to. This this was a different beast entirely. I have a couple other ideas for team battles and like, you know, special rules and things like that. And after doing this one, I'm definitely gonna implement them. I do think I am gonna take a little bit of a break from Pokemon, at least on the channel, but they're gonna come in the future because I still got to do all of those team ones that I'm thinking about, that crystal randomizer, maybe even doing something like, if I could find out or if y'all could suggest a challenge run 
for uh, Crystal Clear as well, that ROM hack. I would love to play that for the channel. Thank you guys so much for getting to the end of the series and still watching my content after I was away for a couple months. I really appreciate y'all. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Shout out to Anigo, Jeff, Omar, Dr. Goose, Plisi, and Herbert. They were the real MVPs. Like they all had a moment. Like Omar didn't do much throughout like the pre-elite four, but boy put in work when it came to that Alakazam and some of those elite four members. Yeah, but I think that's all I have. If y'all have any ideas for what I can play next or any challenges, feel free to drop them down in the comments. I'm gonna be doing probably more of these, these kind of live stream highlight kind of videos and might even, you know, start streaming and stuff. And just let me know if that's something you'd be interested in and if you would prefer YouTube or Twitch. But you all know what else to do. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And of course, I'm gonna have a tag with all of the songs that I used in these videos at the end of each video. Go support the artist if you like the music. It was a lot of fun. I was listening to Synthwave basically this entire time and I really love having it as the background for my videos. Go check out the artist. And I think that's about it. I will see y'all cuties next time. Take care, y'all.